Hey guys, it's me, Evelyn, from Evelyn's Model Horses, and today I'm going to be doing a Schleich conga tag. So, I just want to start by saying that I know there has been a Briar conga tag, and um, the original creator is Hunter Schmidt. I don't think he's active on YouTube anymore, so yeah, but I have made my own sort of questions, but I also have taken some of the questions from that tag and included them into this tag. So it's partially made by me, but not really. So without any further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first question is, what is your favorite conga? So my favorite conga are these two rearing stallions. I think there's a third on the mold, which is like exclusive and hard to find. So I don't have that. Um, so anyways, I just find these guys really unique and really pretty, um, so yeah, I, the, I don't really have a favorite on this mold, but I kind of have a favorite for this guy because I just really like grays for some reason, even though they're super hard to clean. So the next question is, what do you think is your rarest conga? So I think my rarest conga is this Lip is Honor Mare and Gelding. They're in the same mold, but um, Schleich made this one a Gelding. I think it's because it was exclusive or something and in like some sort of older set. So anyways, I really like these ones. Um, I got this one off of eBay and I really like it. They are both used, but I think they're very pretty. And not a lot of people have um, the white Lip is Honor. Um, gelding, which I know is called a gray. Um, it's just easier for non-horsey people to call it a white horse. So I just think not a lot of people have him in their collections and therefore this is why this conga is the rarest. So the next question is what is your biggest conga? Now I do have a lot of congas of threes, but I don't have any of four horse congas which um, I don't think is actually possible right now. So anyways, this is one example of my biggest conga. I'm shaking the camera, that's not very good. <laughs> anyways, um, so it's the Thoroughbred Mare Conga. So this one is a regular one. So this one, the chestnut you get in a set and then the white slash gray one comes with, came with the 2018 advent calendar, I think, maybe. Probably. Anyways, so I just really like this mold for some reason. Um, I just really like the pose. It's just very pretty. And for, and I also really like thoroughbreds. So, yeah. So for the next question, you might be wondering, why is there only one horse? So this question is a, mold, uh, a conga that you want to have. So this is the horse that I want a conga. Um, I just think I missed like the prime time to buy and collect like so the other one I think on this mold is the gray and black Tennessee Walker stallion and I'm really looking for him so yeah um anyways I think this guy is really pretty he looks like a horse I ride at my barn and I just think he's very pretty and I I really wish I got the other one when I had the chance so for the next question it's it's the question um a mold you like but haven't considered or planned on Kongang. And this here is the newer Andalusian Stallion. And I really do like this mold. Um, the other one is the Palomino. Um, I, I really like that one. I just haven't found the time to go out and buy the set he comes in. But I do really enjoy this mold. I really like how the mane is very swishy and it definitely is a very nice walking pose that I would definitely want another in my collection. Also, I don't have a lot of pin, uh, not pintos, palominos in my collection, so I would, there isn't really a reason for me not to go out and buy it, but I just didn't have the time. <laughs> so for the last question, um, it is, what mold do you think could be a really pretty or nice conga? So this pony right here is Schleich calls him a training pony, but I'm just gonna call him a Connemara because training pony isn't a breed. So he's just a Connemara in my eyes. 
Same with this guy over here, the 2020 Trackner. Um, he is a little too small. He's almost pony size, so I just call him, an, again, a Connemara. So back to this guy. I really think he would make a really cool and cute conga. He's just so cute, as you can see. Um, I really like how he's positioned, and I like how his hooves are a very natural color. They aren't, like, really tan or anything but I think he would just be so cute as a conga. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so see you guys next week and bye bye